After all, what's more fundamental to a person's well-being than a roof over their head? We're still working and we're still making progress, but we don't see the finish line. We just need that one last piece. There are hundreds of projects and thousands and thousands of units that are shovel ready, that are essentially sitting there. Is that acceptable? It's not acceptable. Finding an affordable place to live is virtually impossible. Well, what if I told you about a solution that could provide affordable housing to more than a quarter million people here in California, hidden in plain sight? have to have someone let us in. We Doug Dunbar is used to things being temporary. So beautiful. His job as a substitute teacher. You know, I was so proud of these kids. His students. One of them is in Stanford, the other's at UCLA. And his housing. I'll be honest with you, it's the softest place. It's almost like I don't want to leave. We first met Doug outside this Fremont Hotel last year, where he was staying as part of Project Room Key. Awesome. Room Key is a state program for housing insecure people vulnerable to COVID. It's a step up from the storage units and vans he's been sleeping in. It's not too too unpresentable. I made the bathroom beautiful. But this is no vacation. The program only provides temporary shelter, which is why Doug works several jobs, six nights a week at Amazon and one day at Great America, after COVID shut down schools, taking away his subbing gigs. Nice and sharp. And it's still not enough to make it in the Bay. People are in the... Uh, at Amazon are essential workers, but they don't have enough money, income coming in from that one job to, to survive. While running for office, Governor Gavin Newsom pledged to build 3.5 million new homes in California by 2025. He later adjusted the pledge, calling it aspirational. Still, the idea being if you flood the market with new apartments and houses, prices will fall for everyone. So how's that plan going so far? Well, you're looking at it. This is supposed to be affordable housing. And so is this, and this, and this, and all of these. Projects funded in part with your tax dollars, sitting vacant where, if built, could be life-changing for Doug and millions like him. Data collected last year from the nonprofit Enterprise Community Partners found hundreds of shovel-ready affordable housing projects in the Bay Area that haven't even started. We visited some of these sites, finding fenced off hills and concrete lots in Oakland, San Francisco, and San Jose. So this is the second phase of Potrero. This site is the future home to Ankara Place. If built, these sites could provide about 19,000 affordable homes. Welcome to what will be a site with 365 units of affordable housing. First Community Housing CEO Jeff Morgan has spent decades developing affordable housing in California. He says government red tape has doubled building timelines. Delays like this, they don't just cost that project money, it denies our ability to create more housing. What's stalling all of these projects? Well, normally when a developer builds, they borrow money from a bank and the cost of construction is passed on to renters. But with affordable housing, you can't do that. Those developers have to put together a jigsaw puzzle of funding from government agencies and private investors before they can build. They say that process can take up to a decade to navigate through all the red tape and make the puzzle pieces fit. And if that wasn't hard enough, they say, the state is now removing a critical piece for hundreds of projects here in the Bay Area, leaving them in limbo. There was almost 3,000 units of housing that was denied funding. We lost out on a whole number of projects that are ready to go. Without that financing, how much harder does this construction get? It's close to impossible. Right now we have a competitive process and sometimes they don't get funded. We sat down at the Capitol with State Treasurer Fiona Ma. She chairs a little known committee that plays a huge role in deciding which projects receive affordable housing bonds. It's a key source of funding that can pay for nearly half a development's construction costs. You know, our team has found there are hundreds of projects and thousands and thousands of units that are shovel ready that are essentially sitting there because of the lack of funding. Is that acceptable? It's not acceptable, but in a competitive environment, in government, we just can't pick and choose which projects we like. So they have to compete. 
Ma says a record number of developers have been bringing projects to the state, but there just isn't enough money to fund them all. So projects with the cheapest construction costs get ahead. In this race, though, the state's most expensive cities like San Francisco and San Jose don't stand a chance. Governor recognizes this problem as well, and he allocated $1.7 billion to HCD, Housing Community Development, to decrease the backlog for some of these big projects. Governor Newsom has says he wants to build uh, three and a half million units by 2025. Yet developers say when they go to the state for funding to make it happen, shovel-ready projects, they're denied. How is the state expected to reach the school at that rate? The state can't. That's the reality. Last year, the state invested $10 billion into a housing affordability plan. The governor signed a multi-bill package streamlining building and launched a housing accountability unit to help local jurisdictions comply with housing creation requirements. I do my virtual training. These changes impact people like Doug. In fact, when we met up with him, he was moving again. I've got some stuff I got to get out of here to, to store. But it's not what you think. We followed him as he transitioned to this spot in Oakland. A nonprofit found him permanent housing. So which one's your apartment? Right here to the right, right across from the laundry room. It's further from his Fremont Amazon job than he'd like. Another example of that California compromise for a roof over his head. So now you're opening the door to the, your own apartment. Yes, indeed. Building is one solution, but that takes time. So what happened to all those government-backed affordable housing projects we invested billions into all those years ago? Like this one. This place no. was affordable for quite some time, but when those restrictions ended, uh, the owners were able to bring it up back to market rate. How do you feel oh. about that? So they don't even have a washer and dryer. I love Lucy. She has a washer and dryer. In the next episode of Overpriced, Overwhelmed, Over It, we find out why all the people living here now are paying market rate and whether we wasted all of that money. Mm -hmm.